AI art can produce logos, business logos, website logos, all types of logos, even icons. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do so yourself. We'll be using Midjourney with the AI art similar to the web designs I've done in previous videos. But in this video, we'll be creating AI logos. We'll do different variations of logos and we'll also pull in inspiration from other brands to create brand new logo designs. Let's begin. This here is midjourney.com. You can sign up here and you get a free trial to start testing it out without having to pay anything. Of course, if you want to make this whole process easier, you can jump into my Discord, which the link is below, and I've got a channel here called Mid Journey. This channel lets you immediately prompt the AI, creating really stunning artwork, as well as logos, which is what we'll be looking at today. And this is also very easy to start using. Midjourney also has a backend where you can have a look at the community feed and other logos people have done. And there's a lots of amazing ones. Some of them might look like logos while others might look a little bit more like a general AI art, but it can give you some inspiration as to how to design some of the prompts around these logos. Like this one here is a negative space logo for brand using colorful rooster, blast, straight lines, minimalist vector, white background. And this is a pretty cool logo. I'm actually gonna use some similar prompts to these, like this vector gradient graphic logo of a kangaroo to design one for a bit of a sports brand. I want to create a website today for fitness and I want to see how easy it is to create a brand new logo. I'm using Editor X here and I've got this template for a fitness website and all of these elements are clickable and editable quite easily, but I wanna change the logo. Traditionally, for a graphics designer to make a logo, it can take between four to eight hours. And I'm not a graphics designer, so it could me take me a week, maybe longer, and the end result might not even look any good. So let's see how Midjourney can help with this process. I'll start simply on Discord. I'm gonna pass in the prompt here, forward slash imagine. And for the prompt, I'm gonna request a fitness logo. This has absolutely no context. So hopefully we just come up with some generic solutions and then we formalize a more structured prompt to try and get examples of exactly how how we want that logo to look. So let's start off with this simple example. The results are quite masculine, first of all. And here, if you had a look at the earlier design, we're going for more a female version. We're going with blues and more of a minimalist look. So this is where we can start accessing the prompt and putting those in. So this time I'm gonna pass in another imagine. What I've done is passed in fitness logo, blue minimalist, simple female audience and exercise. And we've got these ones here, which actually aren't too bad. They look very yoga based, but uh, I definitely already think that they're def like an improvement essentially on what we had before. So I can continue to work on this prompt. Let's see if I can branch this out to something even more specific. This time I've put in fitness logo with a female stretching in yoga pose, minimalist, simples, blues and whites with a white background and exercise. So here, rather than these darker backgrounds on blue backgrounds, we do have a more white version. We have the figure definitely in a yoga pose. I'm not sure how close that is to a yoga pose, but I suppose we are doing things like sit-ups here in terms of the design. And I think I like this one here at the very top right of stretching is very similar to um, what we had in the actual design here of someone doing sit-ups. Now this is where if you do have an image like this of someone doing a sit-up, you could even use that as part of the prompt. So I'm gonna try and use that as well. This time I've put in a fitness logo with a female sit-up exercise. I've added in the words thunder and lightning simply because I liked the little thunder strike that we had here on Vault Studios. And if there is a name like that, you can start adding in elements like that. So in terms of the responses this time, we do get someone sitting, not doing sit ups. So perhaps I need to work a little bit on the prompt there. I do get a little bit of what looks like a lightning happening there, but maybe I needed to be more specific with a thunderbolt rather than the word thunder and lightning. So let me update those as well. So I've refined it just a little bit. Rather than sit up exercise, I've said female performing sit ups. And then I've also changed thunder and lightning now to thunderbolts. 
or Thunderbolt anyway, because if I said Thunderbolt, it would have multiple, whereas Thunderbolt is just singular. Interesting. They've even got a little bit of a logo that says fitness, or it's trying to say fitness. All of these designs, I definitely like the one on the top right and bottom um, the most, like this one here and this one here looks really epic. And I can already see how it's combining a little, a little bit of that masculine um, design aesthetic that we saw in the earlier design. It's less minimalist, but I think that this logo could be simplified more but I really like this one, to be honest. I think this is the one I'm gonna use in this case. What I'm gonna do is select U2, which will create an upscaled version of it. I can also select a V2, which creates a different types of variations. And that's also something useful to do. And I have something called Remix enabled. If you actually go to the settings of Midjourney, you can enable Remix just over here. And when you do, it allows you to create variations and change the prompt a little bit. So I'm gonna select a version two here. And this is what Remix looks like. You've got the option here to change the prompt. And maybe I can change it from performing sit-ups, minimalist, simple blues, etc., and decrease the S value to 500. And what this will essentially do is create something that isn't too, I suppose, high quality, not high quality, but more like um, the S value is how stylized it is, how in-depth each one of the lines is, or how, for example, minimalist it is. So a more minimalist version of a logo would have less styling, whereas one that you might want to upscale to maybe a high render would have a higher version of stylization. So that's the dash S there. But all of these already look really good. You can see how these now look like simplified versions of the original, uh, which is just over here. And this is a much nicer upscaled version. And I think I'm going to save this one and see if I can import it into the website. I quite like that Thunderbolt because it also looks like the letter V. And here with this Vault Studios, it would work perfectly as a logo. Now these logos right now are SVGs logos. So what I'm gonna do is select the plus sign. I'm going to select image just over here, drag that to the header and click change image. I'm gonna upload the logo that I just created. And this is just how simple that whole process is. And as soon as that's uploaded, I should be able to immediately just start using that in the design. I'm gonna resize it a little bit and I could plug it here to be placed next to this logo. And the only other part of this is that right now the logo itself doesn't have a transparent background layer. And this is where it would be useful to jump into something like Photoshop to apply that transparent layer. Alternatively, we could just take a look at this overall design and we could change the background of it to utilize the same background of the logo so let me just inspect what that color is just one second so i'm going to open up the inspector tool here uh, i'm going to put in a new color value and i'm simply going to grab this hexadecimal value eb and for this hexadecimal value i'm going to plug it into the header so now the header is the same color as the logo, so it looks like it all blends in. And if you wanted to, you could even make this logo look much larger, which I think in this case we could do, and that looks a lot better. So this is how quickly a logo could be done in terms of mid-journey. I want to use the Remix tool now to update the version four of this diagram just over here. So I'm gonna select a V4, and Remix allows me to change the prompt. I want the prompt to have a much lower stylization. I'm gonna select for 200 here. I also want it to be simple. So I'm gonna put in simple or maybe even something like vector um, and vector art and vector logo. Um, I think these small changes here to make them vectors will essentially make a big difference into the final design of the prompt. So all up, the prompt is more or less the same, just with these additions. And let's see what we get back. 
As you can see now, these designs are much more like vectors and silhouettes rather than something that looks more lifelike. And you can probably customize these even further using the remix tool. So what I've done is I've gone into Google and I've actually looked up different types of logos I like, such as the Adidas logo. And I've used the URL of the Adidas logo and I'm gonna basically plug and paste that into Midjourney. Then I've typed in the prompt vector logo, letter V, V, exercise logo, women logo, logo, website logo, blue, white, and a stylization of about 750. Now this one is a little bit different. I am incorporating the first letter of a Vault uh, here, which is I think in the website Vault Studio, because I wanna see if I can pull some variations of that type of a logo, as well as the Adidas logo itself. And then I've got these designs that have come up here. So it almost looks like uh, the letter V inside of a bit of a circle. And there's a couple of variations here. One thing which unfortunately I don't really like about this is the fact that a lot of these have all these little, I suppose, designs around the corners that make it look kind of, well, over-designed essentially. And when it's over-designed like this, it might not look good as a logo from far away. So here I've actually gone to the same prompt. I've plugged in the exact same stuff, but I've reduced the stylization. The stylization here, I've reduced it from 750 down to just 100. The results are basically a more minimalist type logo. So while the logos are completely different, you can see they're a little bit more basic and a graphics designer could look at these and then recreate these in, for example, Adobe uh, Illustrator or something like that. I think this one here kind of looks the most interesting if you were to remove this person and just have this cool V shape that's happening. And this is where I essentially think I'll do a little bit of remixing. Uh, let's do uh, version three here. Uh, and let's uh, do, we'll remove a women's logo and just keep the rest. I think that should be enough for it to work properly. So I'm gonna also remove stylization 700 and maybe in just increase it a little bit to 150. I've pulled in this version just over here. And what I've decided to do is create variations of it, but I have removed the uh, word women's logo and that has removed that woman here that was popping up at the top left because I think it sort of looked like a person up here. Can't really tell, but it looks like a person with their hand up high. And now it just looks more like a logo, a vector logo. And then I've upscaled the one that I liked, which looks very much like the letter V. And I wanna copy that one. So I'm gonna select to open the link. I'm going to save and copy this image. Then I'm gonna go back to Editor X, select to change the image and upload and paste this one in. So let me make sure I save this one properly on my computer. Drag and upload it up here. And here we are, I can paste this in. And here this, the new logo, which also looks really cool. Um, now this is currently layered on top of all my other items. So I'm gonna move it below the uh, actual word of Vault Studio and that'll let me move it a little bit closer to that wording. So here's the new logo. Um, it probably doesn't match the buttons as closely as it could. And this is where Photoshop would be useful to be able to customize some of that. But here are two simple, quick ways to create logos. The same sort of principles can be applied to create different types of icons. And I might do that in the next video. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how to create logos inside of Midjourney. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.